A metal blade here or there. Fist bumps go off, and here we are. Welcome to Zoner Hell. Keaton versus King Ark. As this is winner's quarters of the pool. Wow. There you go. Yeah, I'm not too surprised to see these guys having to clash uh, at like a later point of the bracket. To Keaton's credit, he's been performing very well on Long Island, and Long Island is, has a lack of uh, young links. So, looking down the barrel of potentially one of the more active and better young links, it brings us an interesting style of zoning. Yeah, because we actually don't even have any memorable young links here in, this, in the city. As far as I can remember. Which is crazy to me because this character seems like he has it all. When it comes to the projectile game and also the close range game, this is still a variant of Link. He still has a sword to swing around and plenty of kill potential behind that, yeah, but okay. not so much in the bank when it comes to recovery. Yeah, that is really true about Yelling's recovery. It's not that good. Like, somehow it's so really good in terms of, like, having a, a good uh, recovery in terms of, like, uh, airspeed, I think. I want to say. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, height-wise, it doesn't give you much, and unless you get bomb resets, he's not really coming back from it afar, but you bring up a good point about his lateral recovery. Unfortunately for Young Link, Mega Man has never had an issue with covering lateral recoveries. Between Lemons having more distance and Slash Claw being able to cover a good spot at the ledge. Alright, this is uh, this is really good for uh well, actually, no, because it's kinda even still. I feel like this is gonna be a very even battle all around, just because Keaton has a very good idea of what Mega Man is able to bring to the table. Uh, as we were saying in the pregame, he played Mega Man for quite a time. So he's very aware of what this character's capable of. That was amazing. Yeah, from super deep. Yeah. A lot of percent too. Oh my goodness. And I like that. He took the metal blade, got it out of there, throwing it upwards. He knows it's not going to fall back down, so it's going to take some time for it to despawn. Mm -hmm. And he gets the, uh, the down to the S-Rush confirm. It doesn't kill yet, but it has a lot of percent on deck. s will do it? Yeah. Yo, he just put that out. That's kind of crazy. This is s out of shield. Wow. Up to the punish? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's the kill. It's not killing him just yet. Oh, oh no, John, but he has the bomb. Forget oh. the bomb. How about the Mega Buster? <laughs> Even when the bomb was trying to save him. I was thinking maybe that bomb could might have just messed up the uh, the launch. It was timed really well from King Ark to make sure that that wasn't a factor. It was it was actually powerful enough that the bomb couldn't do anything. Yeah, they made a good amount of Mega Man's kit, like, hurt now. It's so amazing about how he is. The fact that he gets out a combo out of whatever he wants from down to it, and then the first sort of back here. Did that do it? Yeah, wow. it's gonna do it. That was Metal Blade to fair. They made they made fair a very strong move now. Well, I know they made a move, but the fact that it get comboed off of fair out of all things. You should always see like Meg, uh, Megan would do like Metal Blade 2 up to on the ground. Or if they're lucky, or they're, I think it, I think it, if they could, me Metal Blade to bear. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do with Metal Blade. It's a very versatile item. It can infinite it too. Yeah, it's it's a very different type of infinite in this game. It's not the same as the uh, the reps that we would see from Smash 4, which we saw King Ark was very proficient in. Uh, but Metal Blade has a lot at its disposal in this game. And something I'm not seeing really much is that uh, the shield that Yelling has, it can block projectiles too, just by standing still, or you can walk too. Yeah, unfortunately, you're going to see Keaton more in the air than anything else, just because he gets so much off of his air to ground game. That is true. I think that's when, maybe when King Kong is playing the grounding game, he could probably just go with this with shield. But when it's in the air, Keaton uh, Keith will probably get uh, put an aerial out. Trying to get the back air one to connect to things is crazy. Because you see, like, he gets, like, very passive with his projectiles. Just cover the space with the boomerang and the uh, bow. And then as soon as he goes in, he's trying to go crazy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice parry, but didn't hit the, uh, didn't try to confirm off with uh, the parry. 
Uh, almost got the forest match in. Ooh, oh, I like that. Yeah, that'll do. Not a fake out. <laughs> and the weird thing is that he could just go for it. This is so strong. That's all right. All right, this is a cute combo. Going off the explosion from not only Young Link's Bomb, but also Crash Bomber. <laughs> it didn't put a lot of percentage on, but it was cute. Yeah, Finger looks like he's just walking away from the stock now. On uh, Kutani needs to find like a way to get uh, a confirm from one of his uh, one fair to a down tilt. Or the one hit a bear. Yeah, this doesn't look like he's trying to find anything so far. Yeah, it's just playing the slow and steady game with this. Yeah, King Og is playing this so evasively that it's really hard for Keaton to even find a hit. And these are the aspects of King Ark's play that goes less appreciated because Mega Man is a bit more of a passive character. But we know King Ark more for his aggressive play style, being super combo heavy, always being in his opponent's face. But he knows how to play to Mega Man's strengths. He knows how to be able to box out well and maintain a really strong zone. I didn't even confirm. I thought I would even confirm. Alright. Uh, as far as I've never seen like Mega Man players who just used to uh, lead blade. He got out of the out smash and he still got hit by it. <laughs> uh, the, he was uh, using the, uh, the lead blade in the air too, which is something I don't I don't often see that actually. Yeah, I feel like that might be more of a habit from Smash Four, where leaf shield was uh, better to activate in the air because you get a lot of momentum out of its activation. Mm -hmm. uh, Leaf Shield's a bit weird in this game because you can't just hold it. It's is—it's a forced projectile. So... Okay, that would do it. Is that my side? I don't know. Um, looks like the bombs... I don't know, because Keaton's throwing out a lot of projectiles out, but King Art isn't falling for them. Oh, whoa, 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 what the what? Okay. Par parries are a hell of a drug. <laughs> Lip Shield's putting Ooh. in so much work for King Ark, and he's just bold with these combos. I'm loving it, man. He really is moving with it. Oh, he's trying to confirm now with the uh, Metal Blade to fair. Long-time uh, house oh. viewers will know oh. my bias for King Ark's Mega Man, but this is like especially a solid performance from him. He's been staying aggro on all ends against Keaton. Yeah, he doesn't let him move to Reese, but there is his chance now. It's a bomb and getting it the firm off it. <gasps> but the Metal Blade as an uh, two frame, I think. It acts as a solid edge guard tool, but it's not nearly as uh, as safe of a tool for dragging oh, that's down. It. Yeah, that's King Ark was trying to pull all the <laughs> was using all his moves there, all the mix-ups he can possibly do. I mean, for what it's worth, it was good for putting down the percentage because now he's coming off a clean stock. And he instead of get kill percentages. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be really helpful for Ke uh, Keaton here. I don't... He could probably rank out the percent here, but if he's lucky, he could get the an early game off of Mega Man. The, the fair does just hit the arrow. Alright, there's something going on here. Has any Ash guard? Boom rank. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The Nair's coming out from Keaton looking extra spicy. I'm liking it. Why is the Mana Blade in here? What's he going to do with it? Just going to use it as another projectile. <gasps> Back throw? Did that do it? No, no. good. The eyes keeping him alive, but he's at 176. That that'll, that'll do, do it. it, though. Oh, jeez. Looks for a firm that handshake, and that's a solid 2 in favor of King Ark. We'll be seeing him later on in the bracket as he's going to move on to fight the winner of Light and Rishi. That wasn't that bad, actually. There was yeah. a lot more aggressive. I, I was genuinely expecting a zoning war, um, but can never count out King Ark. Oh, yeah. he's got to be happy watching this play. Now, Y'all got to be happy watching Xeno while me and Ray are going to hop off for a little bit. Make sure to yeah. follow.